stuff and then we'll crack on. I've got a bit of an unboxing to do first. I'm going to be unboxing this thing. So we'll do that and then we'll finish off the paint job from last night. But let's update the channel because we're no longer playing a board game which is what it currently says. We are uh, Friday night hobby. There we go. <laughs> they got them <laughs> using the old dusties. Nice to see. Right. Um, I'm going to open this. So you've seen me do these before. This is uh, from the company called uh, yourmodelbox.com. Uh, it's a sort of monthly subscription box where they send you hobby stuff. So. Uh, Let's let's open it up and see what's in there. So yeah, you basically pay a monthly fee uh, for the for when this is on YouTube. If you want to look at it, I'll put links in below. Um, but uh, for you guys, we're just going to do the opening and have a look. So it's very similar to other sort of subscription boxes where you get, you know all sorts of stuff in them. I used to do a loot box years ago where you get like um, uh, nerd type stuff like superheroes and comics and that sort of stuff. Uh, right, so the first thing in the box is something from Serious Play which is like, it looks like grass tufts in there. In a weird little box to be honest. So yeah, it's some pretty realistic looking grass tufts. Actually, I'm going to do this under the other camera. You'll be able to see things under the other camera. Let me switch to this. Uh, let's go over here. And do it. Let's, let's do it here. It'll be much easier to see. Yeah, so it's some um, company called Serious Play. I've used these guys before. I've seen them. They do like all sorts of flocking and flowers. And this is just some uh, grass tufts. It's a pretty small box, but they're all right. Uh, next in the box, we've got. Let's have a look. What's in the box? Oh, we've got some more stuff from Serious Play. We've got some sand. So, just some basing materials. So this one's very basing materials heavy at the moment. Uh, and then we've got a miniature. So I can't what the theme for this one is. This is Crusade, this box. So we've got a Essex Miniatures um, sort of knight type character with what looks like, oh a mace, it's like he's carrying a mace in the packet there, so uh, yeah, nice little miniature, we've got, oh that's handy, so Instar is a company that's not been around for too long I don't think, well it's in the box, again it's not Gwyneth Paltrow's head, um, so this is some um, little soap, which you could never have enough of to keep your brushes clean then we've got oh some all right so we've got some deep clean soap and then some soap conditioner nice so that's going to clean it up nicely and this is going to bring your bristles back to lovely glossy haired condition some Little sticks of uh, sherbet. You always put, they always put some sweets in there. Uh, then got um, some foot sore miniatures 
heavy infantry and they are Arabs. Uh, okay, I'll grab one out so we can have a look at it. They really don't seem to have any weapons. So they've all got shields, but they're not carrying any weapons in the hand that I would assume they should be carrying a weapon in. Unless none of them, oh, unless none of them have got their swords drawn. So yeah, they're just standing there um, ready for battle, but without any drawn weapon. All of the swords are sheathed. <laughs> One day it will be Gwyneth Paltrow's head. And then this is the exclusive miniature. So they commission someone every month to make a one-off miniature. Uh, and we can find out who that is in a sec. But uh, the one-off miniature looks very much like the guy from The Last Crusade. You know when Indy and his dad have to go in and... Uh, find the holy grail this looks like the guy who's guarding the cave and I'm almost going to bet that that is what it is without even reading the pamphlet um, but it looks like the knight that guards the holy grail you chose poorly and then he melts right uh, so that was the box really simple one this month a couple of bits of materials um, so wounded Templar Knight uh, yes let me uh, put this in focus for you this Templar was vowed to fight till his final breath and he'll keep his, wood, his word the wounded Templar Knight ah so he's clutching ah that's what it is I saw that fell out the packet where did that go Did I put it back in here? Damn it. Somewhere on my desk, I should find in a sec, there's a little arrow, because there's an arrow sticking out of his side where he's been shot. So there's that guy, the Templar Wounded Knight. Then we've got some sand and flowers, tufts mixed from um, serious play. And we then got the Arab Heavy Infantry. Um, the Crusader Knight, Crusading Knight from Essex Miniatures, and then some soap from Instar Paints. So there you go, that was the model box for this month. I've blooming lost a little arrow, so um, I would have definitely painted him up as the uh, Crusader from um, the Last Crusade anyway. So he didn't have an arrow sticking out of him. But that arrow is definitely on my table somewhere. Uh, but yeah, that was the box for this month, so yeah. Monobox.com, check it out if you want to check it out. Now on to some painting. Did I chuck it in here? I'll definitely give this, oh there it is, found it, found it. Little tiny arrowhead. Yeah, I should definitely give out give these soaps a try. See if they're any better than the um, the other stuff I use. It'd be interesting to see if that conditioner actually does anything. Right, let's uh let's fire things up. So I'm going to get the model done that we were finishing off yesterday. Um, can everyone let me know if they can... I've just moved some stuff around, so hopefully you can hear me and see everything okay. Uh, that was good fun. I enjoyed playing those games with James. Um, I can't believe I actually won. He normally absolutely kills me in any game we play 
So uh, maybe maybe you went easy on me. Oh, I must have left the lid off my wet palette, it's gone completely dry. Well, I can't actually remember what I'd got up to at this point. Um, I know I need to do the black around the base again. But I think model wise, I think I was pretty much there. Sometimes when you step away for a bit, you kind of forget what you uh, where you were at. I probably won't be on for too long because uh, obviously we've been streaming for two hours and twenty minutes already with the board game, so. Uh, at some point I will need to go and do other things, but we're all right for the minute. It's a nice long bank holiday weekend. Actually managed to get an eyeball in there.
Right, I do want some brown wash now to go over these rocks. <laughs> Why are you intimidated, dude? Come on, you can definitely do this. This is not, uh, this is complete cheating with, um, bloody contrast washes, man. You should definitely, uh, you should definitely paint it. Cotton, did you pick up all of the expansions when it came out? I'm massively regretting not getting the expansions. Space <laughs> boobs. <laughs> boobs. I wish, yeah, I wish I'd gotten them because I, uh, I picked up the Aimble one at the time just because I thought the model was cool. I thought I'll probably never actually get around to playing Blackstone Fortress. Um, so I kind of got the Aimble one just because it was a cool model. And then I just kind of went off the boil with it completely. So I didn't look at any of the expansions when they came out. Didn't even contemplate picking them up. And now that we're actually looking down the barrel of playing the game, I'm like, oh man, I wish I got the expansions. <laughs> yeah, I'm gutted, because they are now, the expansions for the game are now ridiculous. They are, you know, a very simple kit is hundreds of pounds yeah I was also hoping that I was thinking oh what's the old game now surely everyone's moved on but nope nope it's uh, still a ridiculous amount of money uh, to pick up any of the expansions so we'll just have to play the core game and then we can do the um, the aimball expansion um, but that's it unless I can pick them up in a trade or something I've, done, I've, I've gotten rid of a couple of games recently uh, and I have put on there like well, would trade for uh, Blackstone Fortress expansions I got I got rid of the uh, Rogue Trader game. I got rid of um, Speed Freaks. I got rid of um, uh, was it the Necromunda? No, I still got Necromunda. Um, oh, it's one of the other ones I've got. They've all gone to new homes. Oh, okay. Oh, if you find any of that, do 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 ping me because that's probably what I'll have to do as well. Which is more for them. I'd happily give GW money, but uh, they've made that impossible. So I have no problem whatsoever with getting it from. You know, if it's people that have just photocopied the materials and whatever, uh, that's that's fine by me because they the ones that have decided to make it. Impossible to get hold of. The moulds are sitting there. They could easily make money. But for some reason, they'd rather not. That's fine. The internet is a thing. I'd rather not have to do that, but um, not not going to do it if uh, it means we can enjoy the full experience.
must admit I do love the white art this is one of my favorite models that I've painted for some time even though it's a very simple um, sort of scheme and everything I really like the uh, the way the armor turned out uh, it has got the, the vibe I was going for was that sort of ghost in the machine vibe and uh, I really like how it's turned out I think the cloak could have been better in, in, in areas but overall for tabletop standard I'm really happy with it Yeah, so it's a it's a black primer, then a grey primer, then a white zenith, like really from above, um, and then yes, the apocryphy white over the top, and then using um, sort of nulling oil, um, but to do sort of pin washing in various areas, but very thinly. So uh, yeah, so you can see that, I mean, there's still, and obviously the, the contrast does work as well. It goes into the recesses, but then I've just, I've just made it even darker by just putting very thin lines of nulling oil into various little bits of the armor and like down this kind of rib cage middle piece here and around the bubes uh, and the, the arms and other bits. Just so it, sort of stands out a bit more than what you get with just the contrast on its own. Right, so now we're going to do my floor pattern. So I need to get the, uh, the white uh, excuse me for a sec, it's going to buzz. Oh, it was going to buzz. Oh! Buzz so much, I knocked the microphone over. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so uh, I need to think about the best way to do this. I think it's going to be coming down that way.
Right, I need some contrasting colours. Um, I think I'm going to go with a red. Probably a yellow. Or maybe a pur actually maybe purple with uh, purple rather than a red. I think. Uh, maybe purple and yellow would be better. They might show up nicely. Right, let that dry.
Well, I can't dry brush this until it's uh, fully dried, so. But that's essentially what it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna dry brush the rocks. Um, I do like this uh, this holder. It's nice for being able to just rotate it with your finger, <laughs> so you can get to different areas. Oh, really? I mean, I I will definitely do white armor on some models in the future. I'm I'm really chuffed with how that's turned out. Um, uh, so yeah, I won't shy away from doing that. I think that could that could definitely be because um, I always thought I would never do like white space marines or anything anything like that. But actually, that wasn't too hard to do. Um, so I wouldn't, I'm not saying I'm about to do a you know, what a white scar and like that, but I will for other models, one-off models in the future, um, think about how awesome they might look in this kind of white armor. I think it suits this character especially. Um, she is a deadly assassin. Who means business? Yeah, it's kind of, it's a it's probably a, like one of my nicest models of the year. I think I quite liked. You know, I don't often get excited about what I've done, but. Um, an Eldar army though, yeah, that would be cool, yeah. <laughs> that is that kind of, that's what this looks like, right? It does look like that kind of space, very sort of, you know, agile, um, slender look to it, but also, yeah, very cool armor plating in, in the white. It's very, very cool. I guess Tau as well is another one that would be white. Um, but yeah. Very happy with it. Very, very happy. What I could do with this drying though, so I can uh, slap a little dry brush on it. Yeah, should we go up against this guy at some point? Shoot him in the head. Yeah, there we go. That's it done. That is that miniature. Super dumb. Kind of wish the uh, base bit had gone a bit better. It's just still quite it's not as washed out as it is on the other ones. I think I did thinner. I think I used a thinner brush um, to uh, do the white. But uh, it looks alright. It's cool. It's cool. I'm not going to keep going back to it.
Yeah, there we go. Done, 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 done. I'm going to stop playing with it. I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, it is as done as it's ever going to get. Let me, uh, oh, why isn't this not collapsing down? There we go, collapse down. Do as you're told. There she is. There she is in all her glory. All right, quick tidy up. Yeah, so it's essentially the cloak is made up of, um, for those interested, I used uh, contrast warp lightning. Uh, I then used uh, moot green with, you know, various bits of white to sort of lighten it in certain areas, um, just gradually layering it up in, in, but not crazily, just in bits and pieces of it, just to, so the contrast, because on flat surfaces, the contrast is, can be really visible. Um, so I just use that to sort of blend it in in a few places, but not to any great extent. And then uh, the panels were the Apocalypse 3 white, but over a zenith, because I want the darker areas to be dark and the lighter areas to be light. Um, and then panel did some sort of panel lining with nulling oil. Um, which uh, got me the desired effect. And then just cheated with things like the jewels. I used the um, jewel paint. Uh, so this was soulstone blue for the jewels. Uh, very much just using the technical paints that are out there. To do a little bit of cheating. Well, it's not cheating. It's the best jewels I can do. So. Uh, And then the, the base is just what I've done for the others. Um, trying to do this crisscross pattern with the white and then just using contrast to taint, to t uh, sort of tint it um, because then it matches the floor tiles that actually come with, um, well, not matches, but uh, as much as possible, uh, the floor tiles that come with uh, Blackstone Fortress. Yeah, but there we go. Job done. Right, I'm probably going to call it a night because... Uh, we'd already been streaming the game this evening, so that was two and a bit hours. So we've been streaming for three hours at this point, and I'm glad I just got. I just wanted to get this guy done, or this guy, or this lady, I should say. Um, but yes, that was very cool. Uh, thanks for everyone that joined. Cotton, thank you very much for your subscription. Uh, Shiv, thank you very much for the subscription. Um, I had some followers whilst I was offline. Um, Purple Alley, who we raided the other day, actually, uh, the lady who was doing the the cross stitch. Uh, I think she was painting one of her first models, I think. Um, but yes, I will be back over the weekend, no doubt, probably a whole bunch, because we're going to play more uh, Fantasy Brawl, and I will be cracking on with some more uh, Blackstone Fortress. Cool. Right, I'll say goodbye. Cheers, everybody. Have a great long weekend. Hopefully, I'll see you throughout. Um, if I don't, enjoy, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, everybody. Bye.